Yeah, I'm I'm really really bad at paying attention to the frames per second because I know ideally. Okay, here's the thing about YouTube. Here's here's a fun fact. Uh, you want to run 1080 60 frames per second. That's just like verbatim from ChatGPT. The sentient being that we must follow. But um, yeah, and so. Yeah, super static. Just checking it out. And I mean, try and look at my email. I gotta be. I gotta worry about sensitive information. You know, computers are one of those things you can get a little bit worried about. But I don't think you can do anything. Um, censor, censorship. Yeah, you go always get protect yourselves. Anyways, but um, yeah, yeah. I just you know a testimony to them. I am super super um thankful for them entering my life even if it was for a short period um to be able to get me back on my feet you know and really give me a drive and 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 really um do what i can for uh for the world really because you know purpose and things and sometimes you know like I, it, it's really important i'd say this it's super super important to understand yourself if you can understand why you do the things you do and the reasoning behind what you do and try and get a broader perspective from an introverted, extrovert, like some different points of view. If you're able to comprehend yourself in different perspectives and see what role you are and then act how you think is appropriate, that's like super important. That's going to keep you. That's going to get you far in life um, because the whole thing in life is perspective it is essential to be able to understand further your your whole reason i'm just continuously working um on everything that i can in life to, to be a more enlightened person to develop the skills necessary to enable me to actually benefit society in a more profound way I have leadership qualities. I have things that you can do. Repetition's key in any success. But now it's more about creativity because everything's repetition, okay? You can delegate so much to these machines and AI processes. But to be able to make an effective means to be able to get income, you know, sometimes that takes a little bit of time and patience and understanding. I was looking into an affiliate program with Amazon. And I'm realizing that in order for me to be able to cater to them, I need a website. I need a blog. I need to have a place where I can put the affiliate links because I thought I could just affiliate by private messaging people. I guess not. You have to have an affiliate link. So once I get my website, which is one of my goals, I'm going to be trying to do that. I want to try and get my gimbal back fixed. Um, I got this little cool little gimbal. It's a three, it's a three axis gimbal. And I would say it's extremely user friendly. I will throw, um, I'll throw something down there, uh, for you. Uh, to try and show you what it is but it's a smart ai gimbal and it's able to track your face or objects or anything you need so it has different modes and it's relatively simple to use i really enjoy it i would show you i could show you that's not an issue but it's just like i i got into a a, a little bit of a scuffle if you can't tell already a little bit of scars all over my face it's okay it's healing relatively good i don't see any infections yet so that's good but uh during that tiffle uh, i lost some things uh my car one of which was my ai sensor tracker which is what i need to be able to have my face tracked and for, for those that don't know much about me um i'm a i like to dance all right so i like going dancing i immerse myself that's how i release that's my human tendency to be able to release my inner being and connect with something more than just conversation because conversation is okay but vibration and frequency and how it's all interconnected that's my bees knees that's what i like um because as much as i like people and i feel like they're sophisticated and and i'm absolutely amazed by so many people we all have our baggage. We all have our instances of um, of shame, I would say. Um, we all have those human tendencies. So I'm going to try to, uh, yeah, and so, like, yeah, I mean, like, I know my train of thought just kind of bing bongs all over the place, but that's just how I am. I'm ADD a little bit, but it's not really ADD. It's dyslexia, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um 
And yeah, I mean, in terms of valuable information, I'm going to take you along this journey uh, that I'm going on myself and trying to figure out what it is. So let's see what we got here. Um, um, all right, I'll show you. So benchmark. Looks pretty good, except for the freaking graphics card. It's not going to be great. Not a great graphics card. Pretty great memory score. A really great CPU score. 4.0 gigahertz. Um, yeah. I'm I'm pretty impressed with this computer. Uh, it has 24 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that alone makes it nice for web browsing because you're kind of limited by RAM on with um, with Google. Google likes to eat up some RAM. And if I get to Control Alt Delete, if I get to my Task Manager here, uh, I'm able to kind of see my performance. Um, so yeah, I'm still u I'm using up 25 percent of my 20. <laughs> I'm using. <laughs> Four gigs of uh, my memory, even though I have 24 gigs. I, I, you'd think that'd be excessive, but um, yeah, here, I'll show you. See, see this? Yeah. Wow. Looking pretty good. Pretty nice CPU, disk space, zero, Ethernet, great GPU. Yeah, well, GPU is going to be a bit. I'm going to have to have one. I'm going to have to figure out how to get external. Um, external uh, drive or something for that um i don't know how that works and i'm not trying to prioritize this either my main goal right now at, for me as my person and not my projects is to get myself back into the workforce as soon as i can as soon as i get back from vacation i'm going on vacation in two days at uh, five in the morning and i'll be returning in the evening the 26th and during that time i'll continue making videos but i might not be able to do the ai rework because th 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 this is my process with my um format so far i've been just i work my video and then i rework it with ai and then i reprocess it with ai so i'm just trying to get where i can express my message or my the, the core um i can i can um go through prompt engineering with you guys too and kind of give you my format and how i how i um what i learn along the way because a lot of these people out here really need to understand that we as people, when I was saying in my earlier day, maybe yesterday, is we have to re-educate people. We need to teach people how to prompt engineer. Okay, we're not. We have to accept that we're not going to be the smartest ones. We don't need to be working on memory. We need to be working on creativity. We need to be working on knowledge flow. Uh, and what I mean by that is the ability to understand concepts and have reference to those concepts to for keywords that we're able to identify and reconceptualize new trains of thought and re in combination. The thing that's going to be so great in this renaissance of information and technology with this whole AI uh, revolution is tumbling and re re uh, tumbling up all the different um, ways to of information and again and again effective results out of it. Yeah, here, I'll show you because... I don't know. Um, I don't think it's super urgent, but this is kind of like how I'm living right here. And I don't like giving too much information to people because I know you guys can figure out where I am just by looking outside my window. But this is my setup. I was very, very thankful. Um, I received a solid state drive from these people that one of my friends met randomly in a um grubhub delivery drive and he sent some message and captivated the interest of one of them and he and them had a conversation and uh both both different phases of life um but i was keenly i'm, I'm i was his friend you know i'm still his friend um but i live um you know i'm homeless right so i just said like i'm homeless living on my car uh, doing everything I can to um, look for jobs and stuff. Um, 
so it, I could I could say more publicly, but this is YouTube. I'm not going to say anything unless you're my friend and I know you and you're not recording me. It's sorry, it's not going to happen. But anyways, these guys, we met them. This is just how my life works. Met these people, super nice, super friendly, awesome, great, supportive people. Um, they helped me out substantially. We went there, we're trying to learn how to broadcast, getting things set up. I haven't had a computer in years. I haven't had a functioning computer that was in a comfortable environment that wasn't in my cold garage for five years. Oh, hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm just uh, eating some lunch here. As you Yummy. see, um, kind of, kind of different. You know, it's 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 so weird for me because like I crave like things like <laughs> yeast. I don't know how many of you people eat yeast, but nutritional yeast is super nice. I really enjoy it. It's it's like up there. I mean, I enjoy cheese too, but I know that some people say, well, a cheese is addictive and whatever, but. I don't know. It's it, it's hard for me to say that it's completely addictive, but I would say if dogs like to eat it and we like to eat it and other animals like to eat it, it's probably safe. So, um, yeah, I, I just add some new nutritional use to some cheap burritos and some salsa on top because I need to have some type of good fiber. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm just trying to figure things out. Update. So, um, I got my car in the shop. I'm trying to save it, if, if at all possible. Um, so it's, uh, it's it's extremely damaged, uh, and it's just a pain, uh, especially when that's what what my, my previous job was. Now I have to decide what I'm going to do. I'm just going to utilize skills I used in the past and try and get hired as a forklift operator, probably as a temporary employee. Oh. Build my portfolio out. I can see if I can get hired with a regular company, but usually how that works is, and it's interesting because most of the time, if you want a job, you just have to go through be a temp because they want to give you a trial period because employees are a liability inherently. Um, and so I understand I need to prove my work before they would even accept me. But I think if I get in the workforce, I'm going to have an issue. Uh, it's just a whole transportation thing, and they don't have availability to the end of February. So I'm looking at a whole two months of I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do some soul search and do these video projects, see where I can go. Um, it, for those that don't know me, I'm Dan. Um, and, you know, currently I am homeless. I am running around. I'm living off the generosity of others at the very moment. I'm trying to get back on my feet. I have um, financial uh, dispositions that have caused me a little bit of problems. I'm trying to wiggle my way out of it. Uh, you know, um, it just goes to a testimony. You got to be really careful who you let in your life. And you need to make sure that they're actually going to be there positively enforcing good things. And honestly, honestly, if I were to give any advice to anyone, and I know I'm not in the position to really do so, but if I were, I would say just focus on yourself. Don't allow other people into your social sphere. Um, it can it can destabilize your universe. And I consider each person their own universe. They have their own thoughts and things that circle that come in. Um, it, it, it's an analogy. It's, it, it's a rotation of thoughts. In order to fix or, or um, evaluate how you can make your universe more in tune is you have to decide what's the things closest to your black star or your black hole or the thing that um, it, I don't consider, you know, like if I were to think of a black hole, it's not the heart. It's the most dense. So it's the most dense form of energy. It's the most and, and energy is just um Energy and matter, if I was just to go into a tangent into that um, and string theory and everything, I think that we are energy and motion balanced by gravity. The, 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 the attraction and pulling and finite um, like balance and black holes just go beyond the balance. They just kind of go inward and then all of a sudden they can become super dense because they're not, there's not, now they're not hollow anymore. Because we're technically hollow atoms. That's what we are. 
all the atoms are just energy frequencies balanced in the time and we just exist because of that sole purpose as that goes in the dark matter you go in all these different theories but that's the basic way and so when i think about my core energy and who i am that's my black hole my black hole is my origin that is like my genetics that is me that is uh, my RNA, the ability to change things. It's the super dense stuff that I cannot change. And it will continue to be for the next universe that I produce. It's the same core. And the thoughts that surround it, and by the center, uh, by the close, the analogy I'm using, the, the stars that are going the fastest is the most rapid around. That's just kind of like how you act and what you say and your thoughts. And then you get to the mid section, the hour section. Those are like kind of like things that can change a little bit more. Uh, those are things like, you know, what you do, what's your job, like. And then, but also you have to realize that the mid section is really close to the core section because what you do sometimes is passed on to the next universe or your son or your you know your um your offspring. But the outer things like what your what your hobbies or what you enjoy those can change at whim and so i think that as you change you should try and focus on the things on the outside and the more hobbies and things that you can make more concrete and i think that's why consistency is so key and those are higher vibration because you do them more often and those become more important in your life like one of the goals i have is exercise um and that's just because I feel that exercise is super important for every function in your body. We would not exist if we did not exercise. And if we're that disconnected where we feel like we don't need to exercise, I'm sorry, but you are wrong. I will disagree with you 100% because there's no way you can say that you don't need to exercise. Everyone needs to exercise in one shape shape or form or whatever you gotta do i don't give a damn i feel like some of these people out here and i'm not trying to be offensive but you need to get out there and do stuff you need to go out on a run you need to go do stuff i if i could and if i didn't feel like i had to focus on working i would want exercise now going to the gym and stuff i get it i don't really want to go to the gym either but i feel like if i build a routine it would be good for my inner universe you know it would help me like if I could pull that in, because it's on the outside of my unit. It's on like it's like a Pluto in my in my solar system. You know, I need to make exercise closer to Mars. You know, I need to make it pretty important. It needs to be, you know, it needs to have a cycle more often than not. If not, if I can push it up even higher, um, technology and information and like and all this stuff, like this stuff right here, what I'm doing with you and talking to you, this is one of my central planets. So this is something I do every day. I have to be on my phone every day. I have to do these things every day. And it's just because that's how I structured my life. And I'm realizing this and this is who I am. But I'm not really in tune with the real things going on in the world. And I know that other people are, but we do need technology to advance ourselves. Um, we cannot go back to Neanderthal times. That's just not possible. We have too many damn people. If we went back to Neanderthal times, everyone's going to be in crisis. We're going to starve. We're going to have issues. So, of course, we can't go back to Neanderthal times or even Indian times or whatever times you want. Can't do it. Yeah, not possible. Unless you want people to die. Let's face it. And we also have to get over our political things because we need China just as much as China needs USA for, a different, for, for agricultural reasons. For trade, just to be able to feed ourselves. I mean, United States is in a better position, but we have destabilized the northern polar vortex. And if we don't create stability in the northern hemisphere, we may have catastrophic um, failure as a society because we need to feed ourselves. Like food first, but love, feed the farm or support the farmers, of course. Farmers usually come number one. Next to military, you know, for us, at least in the U.S., but support the damn farmers. I want to eat. I'm not going to starve.
I'm not going to go eat humans. That's ridiculous. This is absolutely delicious. All right. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my meal. All right. You see this again? I'm going to tell you about it. Just because I feel like it. Um, so I got some El Cheapo burritos. You know, those ones that you just microwave real quick. Now I got some nutritional yeast on top. All right. That's it. Because I like the way it tastes. I think it, for some reason, my body craves this and needs it. I got some tomatoes, pico de gallo, you know that, pico de beaker, no, pico de rooster, my bad. It's just an interesting term. I mean, it was it's not that much of a beak of the re rooster, because if you thought, if it, it was for chickens, it would be a little bit more cut up, but it's all right. They do all right. I don't mind. Nice little chop chop. And that's it, you know? Uh, and then, you know, so microbiome, I'm working on my microbiome. I'm going to be working on trying to get um, my exercise back in track because I feel like that's super important. And I'm also trying to work on videography projects and documentation processes uh, with AI tools in order to not really prove it to myself because I already know I, I'm capable, but to prove it to other other sources and try and create value in, in what I am and what I can provide. I'm not just a forklift driver. Believe me, I can do a lot more than that. I can I can do so much, all right? But in order to make it profitable, you have to be able to provide goods or services and a specialized skill set in particular. That's where you really get paid the big bucks is when people really find you valuable and they want to pay you for consultation or just, you know, they you want they want advice or whatever it might be. That's kind of like where the big bucks are reoccurring uh, orders like if you order something that like constantly comes in like a subscription and it has a affiliate and I'm your affiliate that means I was your marketer and that means I get commissioned for it and that means you help me feed myself which you know I definitely need help with so uh, I, if I find any types of goods or services and I can make an affiliate link and I send that you to that link and then you buy it it's like I just referred you that's why the company pays me that's not bad that's me being the outlook. And me immersing myself in this new social media thing, I'm going to attempt my very best to take you along the way. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this meal, and I'm going to catch you back at the computer.